So another very important topic in mathematics is determinants. So what are determinants? The credit for the discovery of subject of determinants goes to the German mathematician Gauss. After the introduction of determinants, solving a system of simultaneous linear equation becomes much simple. Determinant is a square arrangement of numbers, real or complex, within two vertical lines. The numbers A, B, C and D are called elements of the determinants and the number of rows and columns is called as order of determinant. So, when four elements of determinants are arranged in two rows and two columns, it is called a determinant of second order. The value of determinant is given by delta which is a into d minus b into c. For example, if determinant 2, 3, 5, 1 is there, then it is equals to 2 into 1 minus 5 into 3 which is 2 minus 15, it comes minus 13. Another example is 4, 6, 3 and minus 5, which is equals to 4 into minus 5 minus 6 into 3, that is minus 20 minus 18 is equals to minus 38. So the value of determinant is minus 38. Similarly, when 9 elements of determinants are arranged in 3 rows and 3 columns, it is called as determinant of third order. The value of determinant is given by delta is equals to A E F H I minus B D F G I plus C D E G H. You can see here, if we are taking A, then we are hiding the row and column of A and remaining are taken as the second order determinant. Similarly, when we are taking B, then we need to hide the row and column of B and the remaining numbers should be taken as determinants of second order plus C and now this time we will hide the row and column of C and the remaining will be taken as the determinant. Let's take few examples of third order determinants. So, example is 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 2, 1, which can be given as 1 determinants of 1, 4, 2, 1, minus 2 into determinants of 2, 4, 5, 1, plus 3 into determinants of 2, 1, 5, 2. So this becomes 1, 1 into 1, minus 4 into 2, minus 2, 2 into 1, minus 4 into 5, plus 3, 2 into 2 minus 1 into 5 which becomes 1, 1 minus 8 minus 2, 2 minus 20 plus 3, 4 minus 5 which is 1 into minus 7 minus 2 into minus 18 plus 3 into minus 1. Opening the bracket it gives minus 7 plus 36 minus 3 which is 26. Let's take another example. So determinant of 1, 0, 1. 2, minus 3, 4, 1, minus 1, minus 2. This can be written as 1 into determinants of minus 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 0 into determinants of 2, 4, 1, minus 2, plus 1 determinants of 2, minus 3, 1, minus 1. So it becomes 1 minus 3 into minus 2, minus 4 into minus 1, minus 0, 2 into minus 2 minus 4 into 1 plus 1 2 into minus 1 minus minus 3 into 1. So this can be written as 1 6 plus 4 minus 0 minus 4 minus 4 plus 1 minus 2 plus 3 or 1 into 10 minus 0 into 0 plus 1 into 1. Or 10 minus 0 plus 1 which gives 11. So the value of determinant is 11 here. So next is minor of an element. So what is minor of an element? Minor of an element is the determinant obtained by deleting the row and column in which that element occurs. For example, minor of A from the given determinant is obtained by hiding the row and column of A. So the remaining numbers form the minor. 
so they are e f h and i similarly minor of b can be obtained by hiding the row and column of b so the remaining numbers are d f g i similarly minor of e can be obtained by hiding row and column of e so the remaining numbers are a c g and i so we can easily find out the minor of any element from the given determinant let's take some examples so first one is 1 minus 1 3 0 4 2 11 5 and minus 3 in this case minor of 1 can be written as 1 subscript 1 and 1 where 1 and 1 corresponds the number of row and columns because 1 is placed in the first row and first column that's why it is 1 subscript 1 1 which is equals to 4 2 5 minus 3 so the value will be given by 4 into minus 3 minus 2 into 5 which is minus 12 minus 10 is equals to minus 22 so the value of minor of 1 is minus 22 similarly the minor of minus 1 will be written as minus 1 subscript 1 and 2 1 because it's the first row and 2 because it is in the second column which is determinants of 0 2 11 minus 3 so the value can be given as 0 into minus 3 minus 2 into 11 so 0 minus 22 which is minus 22 so now let's try to find minor of o which can be represented as 0 2 and 1 because it is in the second row and first column which will be determinants of minus 1 3 5 minus 3 which is equals to minus 1 into minus 3 minus 3 into 5 so 3 minus 15 which is minus 12 for minor of 4 we can write 4 2 2 because it is in the second row and second column so it will be determinants of 1 3 11 minus 3 and the value can be given as 1 into minus 3 minus 3 into 11 so it is minus 3 minus 33 which is minus 36 next is cofactor of an element cofactor of an element in any row and column is the signed minor of that row and column element so how can we sign the minor the sign is given as minus 1 power to number of row plus number of column so in this case cofactor of a will be given as minus 1 power to 1 plus 1 because first row and first column so minor of a is determinants of e f h i in case for the cofactor of b will be minus 1 power to 1 plus 2 first row and second column into determinants of d f g i similarly cofactor of g will be given as minus 1 power to 3 plus 1 third row first column into minor of g which is b c e f so the example is 3 minus 2 4 2 1 0 7 11 and 6 if you want to calculate the cofactor of minus 2 which is placed in first row and second column so we can write minus 1 power to 1 plus 2 first row and second column into the minor of minus 2 which is 2 0 7 6 so it becomes minus 1 power to 3 into 2 into 6 minus 0 into 7 so minus 1 power to 3 comes minus 1 again so minus 1 into 12 minus 0 which is which becomes minus 12 please note here that if power of minus 1 is odd number then it will return into again into minus 1 but if power of minus 1 is even number then it becomes plus 1 so it only changes the sign of the minor now let's calculate the cofactor of 7 which is in the third row and first column so it becomes minus 1 3 plus 1 third row first column and minor of 7 is minus 2 4 1 0 so it becomes minus 1 power to 4 into minus 2 into 0 minus 4 into 1 so it will become plus 1 as the power is even number so plus 1 into 0 minus 4 which becomes minus 4 
so the cofactor of 7 is minus 4. So let's try some of the numerical based on this. So problem 1 is solve determinants of x, 2, x, 3x which is equals to 0. So it's given that x, 2, x, 3x is equals to 0. So in this case x into 3x minus 2 into x becomes 0 or 3x square minus 2x is equals to 0. Let's take x as a common. So x into 3x minus 2 is equals to 0. Therefore we can say x can be 0 or 3x minus 2 can be 0. So if 3x minus 2 is 0 then we can write 3x is equals to 2 or x is equals to 2 by 3. So there are two values of x. x can be 0 or x can be 2 by 3. There is another similar problem. Determinants of x, 8, 2x is equal to 0. Please try to solve this problem and you can find the answer in description box. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and share with your friends. And also subscribe to my channel.